So how do we properly set up the stage uh, with the sample holder and a sample on that holder? So this is a little bit different on the 710 than on the 700. The ideas are the same, it's just the 710 is a little bit more sensitive. Uh, so we have to be a little bit more careful when we do this. So the first thing is that we want to check that this holder is properly in position. So if we touch it, it should not wobble and it should not uh, suddenly go down. It should be firmly uh, in place, which this one is. But what happens if it's not? So um, if it's not, you want to first change objective to the 10x. And uh, And then go to load position to lower the objective so that it is far away from everything we're going to manipulate here. So if this is not the right holder, for example, if someone forgot the plate holder in, you want to remove it and swap it for the one you want. Furthermore, if it's not in the proper position, so something is off, you may need to remove it and put it back in. And to do that, you're going to gently lift it up from the side. You can sort of pop it up from there. Okay, then to put it back in, um, you're going to align this red dot with the red dot that's here. Place it on the stage, so. And then here's the tricky part. On the 700, you can just push this and that's fine. On this one, if you push it, the, the stage will, will wobble, um, so it's not great for the stage to do that. Um, so what I do instead is I put my left hand here and brace it put my right hand here and guide it in, but most of the work is done by my left thumb to pull this into position. And what I want is for it to be firmly in place. So I don't want something like this, where it's wobbling. I also don't want something like this. I'm gonna make it a little bit more dramatic. You can see that it's flat here, but as you move to the right, it's lift it up. So you don't want that because that will tilt your sample and cause all sorts of problems with the engine. So if you're in a situation like that, just press it down gently and make sure it's nice and level. And once you have that, this is an inverted microscope. So we're going to put the sample on cover slip side down, so towards the objective, and put it firmly in place. Uh, you don't really need to use this clasp. You can if you want to. Um, it's not really necessary in most cases. So that's how you uh, mount the sample on the LSM 710.